The maximum credit limit on the Navy Federal flagship card is $80,000. But here's the real reason why I'm going to always keep this card. Take this walk with me. What is up, team? It's your boy Sledge from the Sledging Team, back with another video. And today, we gonna be talking about why I'm always gonna keep the Navy Federal flagship card. And you know over here at Sledging, we get straight to business, so let's get to it. First things first, when I first opened a Navy Federal account, I only had my eye on one credit card, and it wasn't the Navy Federal flagship card. My original plan was just to get the Navy Federal More Rewards card and keep increasing the credit limit until I reached the $50,000 max credit limit on that card. I mean, the More Rewards card is a great card, and many people consider it Navy Federal's best credit card because it has a wide selection of travel categories. But enough about the More Rewards card for now. In 2021, Navy Federal was running a sign-up bonus that included a free year of Amazon Prime. Now, this time, I didn't have the flagship card, and I really wasn't interested in it because I had the American Express Platinum card, which is still my main travel card. But then, 2022 came around, and the sign-up bonus for the flagship card still included a free Amazon Prime membership for that year. Now, keep in mind, this is the only Navy Federal card that has an annual fee but that annual fee is only $49. Amazon Prime is currently $139. So if you get the flagship card and meet the sign-up bonus spend requirements, you'll come out $90 to the good. But here's what really caught my eye about the flagship card. I kept seeing different comments on YouTube from content creators such as Tasha from the Major Chain Group saying that as long as you had your Navy Federal flagship card, they will continue to pay for your Amazon Prime membership. So what did your boy do? I decided to pick up the Navy Federal flagship card in November of 2022 because my Amazon Prime membership renewed in December of 2022. So then in 2023, when my Prime membership renewed again, guess what? The Navy Federal flagship card credited my account once again. So I can confirm, as long as you have the Navy Federal flagship card and they are running that promotion, they will continue to credit your account every time your Amazon Prime membership renews. By the way, if you want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and if you want exclusive content, early access to videos, consider joining the membership. It's only $2.99 per month, and you can cancel at any time. Now, when I picked up the flagship card, not only did I get the free Amazon Prime membership, I also got 50,000 Navy Federal points when I spent $4,000 within the first three months of being approved for that card. But keep in mind, I did this and I always do this with organic spend and I do not recommend overspending to hit a sign up bonus for any card. I used a portion of those points for a hotel stay in Plano, Texas at a Hilton property when I went to go see the Dallas Mavericks play the Los Angeles Lakers. And if you happen to book a Hilton stay with Navy Federal points, make sure that you put your loyalty number in so that they will grant your status. Navy Federal points are only worth one cent per point if you were wondering. Now, although I mainly picked up the flagship card for the sign up bonus and the free Amazon Prime, the flagship card is really a good earner, especially if you're using it for travel and transit. Of course, you get three points per dollar when you book hotels and flights but you also get three points per dollar when you book car rentals, campgrounds, timeshares and RVs, ride shares, parking, bridges, tolls and ferries, museums, amusement parks, and public golf courses. The flagship car can be a good catch-all car because if you purchase anything that isn't in those three point per dollar categories, you'll get two points per dollar for all other purchases. And those points will never expire. Now, another reason I got the flagship card is because it offers TSA pre-check and global entry. So if I ever decide to drop my American Express Platinum card or any other premium card that I have, and I still want global entry and TSA pre-check, I'll still have this $49 annual fee flagship card. And here is something that you never hear about the flagship card. 
Because of the Visa Signature Card, you get access to the Visa Signature Luxury Hotel Collection. And that gives you the best rate guarantee, access to room upgrades when available, make sure that you ask, complimentary continental breakfast or a similar benefit, a $25 food and beverage credit, VIP hotel status, and 3 p.m. late checkout. And when you get to the hotel, make sure you do a jump test on the bed like my boy J.P. Buffett did when he was staying at the Conrad in New York. But do keep in mind that these will be luxury hotels, so the prices on them most likely will not be cheap. You'll also get 25% off when you rent cars from Avis or Budget. And if you didn't know, those two rental companies are the same company. You get a complimentary one-car status upgrade, and the additional driver fee is waived. All you have to do is book that rental with the Navy Federal flagship car. Now, I don't rent cars often, but I did the research for you. If you don't want to do the research, which a lot of y'all don't do, it's okay. I'm doing it for you. The sign-up bonus for the flagship car right now is 35,000 Navy Federal points and free Amazon Prime membership for a year when you spend $3,500 within 90 days of being approved for this car. Now, remember, the clock starts ticking on a sign-up bonus the moment that you are approved for a car, not when you get it in the mail. I also want you to keep in mind that Navy Federal is a relationship-based institution like most credit unions, meaning that they like you to use a variety of their products. I have their more rewards and go rewards card, a check-in and savings account. I took out a pledge loan with Navy Federal just for data points for YouTube to see if it would help improve my credit score. And the short answer is yes. But if your credit report is already tight, you can most likely just open up the required savings account and apply for the card that you want. Just like I did with the More Rewards card on the day that I joined the Navy Federal Credit Union and I was approved for a $25,000 credit limit. One of my best friends wanted global entry, so I told him to join Navy Federal and apply for the flagship. He applied and got a $25,000 credit limit on the flagship the day that he joined. Now, if your credit report needs a little work, you might wanna build a relationship before you apply for a car with Navy Federal, especially if you're applying for the more rewards or the flagship car. Now, we all know that Navy Federal was known as the house of high limits, and currently, I'm at the $80,000 limit that they will approve you for with credit cards. Well, as far as I know, they'll only approve you for $80,000 worth of credit cards, but I also have $32,000 limit on my flagship card. Now, the next move for your boy is to reallocate the whole credit limit for my Go Rewards card and move that over to my Navy Federal flagship card and close the Go Rewards card. For me, although the flagship isn't my number one card, it's a great card to have because for one, if you have Amazon Prime like many of us do, the flagship card pays for itself. If you want TSA pre-check or global entry, this card pays for itself. And I love the luxury hotel program. So for me, the flagship card is a no brainer and I'll be keeping it for the foreseeable future because the Navy Federal flagship card is not trash. Well, if you like this content, Oh, it's just entertain. Hit that thumbs up, share this video, but most importantly, drop a salute emoji in the comment section. And remember, change is inevitable, but growth is optional. It's your boy Sledge. Salute.